it comes to road racing, Paul Genalozzi is no stranger to the task. He's been doing it for the last 29 years. He was one of four drivers to win overall at the 1994 Rolex 24 Hours of Daytona and holds five Trans Am championships, the latest one behind the wheel of a Jaguar. Today, Paul serves as principal partner and holds the third seat in the number 33 RSR Jaguar XKR GT. The XKR really is the best combination. It's got this great 510 horse motor that will get you anywhere you want to go quickly, but it's comfortable, it's quiet. Um, some say it may be removed from some of that guttural kind of street noise, but when you get to be my age, you want speed and comfort, and that's what the Jag gives you. This is a front engine, all alloy car that doesn't have the rear weight bias that the Ferrari 430 does or that the Porsche does. It doesn't have the engine setback that the Corvette does, but it makes up for that with a really sophisticated balanced handling um, and some technologies. Uh, the, the electronic differential that's part of the stability control for the Jag compensates for some of those shortcomings on the racetrack. The car lets you know when you're going too fast. It has that traditional front end push that you get when you, uh, when you enter a corner too fast. The electronic controls kind of take over and make sure you can't do anything stupid. So it allows you to open the throttle and turn the wheel and really the car is your partner as you go around the racetrack. Well, I think the, the two things that, that I feel at this point in the development curve are solid for us and, and we know we don't have a deficit. Primary one is weight distribution. The car is really 50-50 perfect at this point. And the second one is the shape. Uh, when Ian Callum and his group designed the XKR, they made a car that lent itself to making downforce. Now, it's, it's a little bit larger car than the Porsche or the 430 in frontal area, but those big, long, flat surfaces give us an opportunity to control the air and make downforce. Downforce makes lap time. Well, I think the proportion of the street and race car having the same wheelbase and the same long surfaces. Um, the similarity is the balance. The race car is really a lot of fun to drive here because it doesn't do anything bad. Uh, at this point, the lap time that we have to gain is just about trust. It's just about releasing the brake pedal at 80 miles an hour instead of 70 uh, to carry speed to the apex and that will make lap time. It makes it a half second each, at each interval. So. Uh, the streetcar does exactly that. It's a long wheelbase car, we're wide, we've got a lot of stability, and that, that puts trust in the driver's heart and hands. 